Greetings from Rome. Hi everyone. Welcome. We're here today to talk about food safety and what you can do to ensure that your food is safe. This year on the 7th of June, World Food Safety Day is going to be about safe food now for a healthy tomorrow. And we'll be hearing from people from all over the world about what they do to ensure our food is safe. But first up, we hear from the chief scientist of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations about how food safety is based on science. Science is the basis of our work on food safety at FAO. Scientists have developed tests and methodologies and tools to detect contamination, be it microbiological, be it chemical or other hazards. With the new scientific innovation and development, we are improving food safety, particularly with technologies like nanotechnology. It has allowed us really to detect contaminants at a very small level, like omics technology as well. So by innovation, we are improving our food safety. Food safety, it's all about prevention. So science has an important role to play in food safety. Now over to a food safety expert at the World Health Organization to hear about preventing foodborne diseases. Thank you, Mia. And here I am in Manila in the Philippines. All over the world, 600 million people fall ill from consuming unsafe food. When food's not safe, children cannot learn, adults cannot work, and human development cannot take place. But we have good news. Most of foodborne diseases are preventable with food hygiene and education. Everyone has a role to play to help us to achieve safer food for all, now for a health tomorrow. And this is all about what food safety is. Join us. Earlier, David and I were at the market where we saw food safety in practice. Here in this market, in the heart of Rome, you'll find all different kinds of food. Some of it processed, some of it fresh, like the fruit and vegetables you see here. And people working to ensure that the food is safe. The food here comes from Italy, comes from close by. But in Bhutan, over 70% of food is imported. We spoke to a food safety officer in Bhutan. Bafra, as a food safety authority, is working hard to educate consumers on food safety as well as food adulteration. This time we all collaborate with our neighboring countries to increase our control and as well as increase the capacity in laboratory testing. In Bhutan, we do see incidents of uh, food safety scares in social media. Some examples are plastic rice, eggs, as well as adulteration of butter and milk with wheat flour. We have seen people circulating videos and pictures of vegetables being adulterated with non-permitted colors. Food safety scares in social media is a challenge for all food safety authorities, irrespective of whether we are in a developing or developed country. Bafra is trying to reach out to all the consumers in the country by increasing our engagements on social media platforms such as Facebook and WhatsApp. FAO and WHO work with food safety advocates and others to reach wider audiences. Here's a message from a farmer in the United States who's also popular on digital platforms. I'm in North Central Florida on a produce farm where eggplant harvest is going on right behind me here. And we also have some bell peppers right here. Fun fact, did you know that red and green bell peppers can actually come from the same plant? It's just at a different stage of ripeness. So fun facts like these are really a great way to help connect consumers to farmers and help people learn where their food comes from. You can always start your own social media page, but just make it fun. Um, remember to connect to you as a person. Use jokes, use humor, memes, infographics, fun ways to make it interesting, that get people involved, that want to follow you and be that trusted voice. And that's the thing with social media, right? As much as it's the number one source of information, there's a lot of misinformation out there too. And people are looking for credible sources of information, which you can do. So remember to connect with different farmers and groups on social media, tell that personal story, and enjoy the webinars. Next up, we have a story from Brazil, from a food safety advisor in the private sector. Her unique awareness raising campaign began with the creation of an avatar on TikTok. 
Last year, I created an avatar named Dra. Drica and I took her on a tour around the Rede Sauvignac supermercados. We met with managers, workers and customers to share food safety devices. Our work was wide-ranging. We posted pictures and ran live events on Facebook and Instagram. We sent public information materials to managers across the retail sector for them to display in their stores. The campaign was a great success. Dr. Adrika and I reached about 9,500 employees and 3 million customers. I believe she's a memorable character, and I hope her message was memorable as well. Now we go to the other end of the food supply chain to see how important food safety is in food production and processing. Let's hear from a food safety expert in Africa. Our food system must deliver enough uh, safe food for all. But in Africa, more than 91 million people fall ill and 137,000 people die every year from foodborne disease. Food processing and production is built on good practices. Here in the supermarket in Accra, this is how these good practices are put in place. And this is what we encourage and what we promote to ensure that we make safe food today for healthy tomorrow. Countries around the world are working together to stop the spread of contaminated food internationally. Now to a technical officer at WHO to hear about a food safety network that has more than 600 members in 190 countries. The International Food Safety Authorities Network, known as InfoSan, deals with different types of food safety incidents. This could be caused by biological, chemical, physical, and even nuclear hazards. Some of the most commonly involved pathogens include Salmonella enterica, Listeria monocytogenes, and Enterohemorrhagic Escherichia coli, which is also known as E. coli. The InfoSan Secretariat and many InfoSan members hold events and run campaigns to raise awareness on the very important work that's been done to ensure the food we eat is safe, especially during food safety emergencies. Sharing information and communicating with the public are an important part of preventing and managing emergencies. Here we have a short video featuring two InfoSan members. Let's listen. The InfoSan network managed on average about 42 food safety incidents annually until three years ago, when the number increased dramatically. In 2018, food safety incidents doubled and climbed to above 120 in 2020. The reason for this is, in part, due to better exchange of information during multinational food safety events. Food safety competent authorities take part and exchange information that allow us to act quickly and protect your health. The network connects food safety professionals from all around the globe. InfoSan is also a network of networks. This means that members that belong to the network are also part of different regional networks with similar goals. InfoSan Global Meetings provide a precious opportunity for all InfoSan members to interact and discuss future plans for collaboration during the food safety incidents so that they can recall the contaminated product efficiently and effectively from the markets. Together, we protect your health worldwide. Food safety starts on the farm, but continues all the way along the food chain. In fact, all of us have a role to play.
inspired you to learn more about food safety, promote awareness in your community, and do your part to keep food safe. Absolutely, and there you have it. You've heard the theme for 2021, safe food now for a healthy tomorrow. And wherever you are, remember, food, food safety, safety is everyone's, everyone's business. business. Goodbye. Goodbye.